friends and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be making a miel or a honey cinnamon latte. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite drinks. Uh, it's not my top pick right now, but it's in the heavy rotation of what I choose to drink. So yeah, and yeah, let's get started. So we're gonna start with pulling our espresso shots. Uh, I'm going to use this Brazil Monte Carmelo from Caravan Coffee. This is in Oregon. It's in Newburgh, Oregon. It's honestly like my favorite coffee shop. I, or my favorite roastery. I love them. I, they're just so good. Uh, so we're going to start with grinding up our beans. Okay, so I'm just going to pull a double shot. Um, you can do however many shots you want. I'm gonna be using this. I'm pretty sure it's a 12 ounce mug. Um, I'm not using my normal 16 ounce mugs today just cause I don't need that much coffee. I've already had three coffees this morning. Um, so yeah, and it's only noon. So, you know, we're just gonna do a 12 ounce latte, but still a double shot. We're just gonna pull that directly into our mug. Okay, so now it is time to prep our milk pitcher. This is the most important step of this latte by far. So I'm gonna be using whole milk today. I normally go for oat milk, but it just is easier for demonstration purposes to use whole milk. So I'm gonna fill this, you know, to like right where that spout dips down. And we're gonna put the honey and the cinnamon into our milk pitcher and we're actually gonna steam that into our milk. So I just like to put a good squirt of honey in there. And then just a couple shakes of cinnamon. like all the cinnamon will be sitting on top and why I do this this way is so that cinnamon all incorporates into the milk and you don't get that grainy texture on top of your latte. While you're steaming your milk you will see that on the steam one a lot of the cinnamon will like sort of stick to that. That'll go away after the beginning stages and when you start to get that whirlpool going in your milk. And as long as most of the cinnamon incorporates into the milk, if some of it stays on the steam one, that's almost bound to happen. So don't worry about that. You'll just get it off when you purge your wand after you're done steaming your milk. Okay, so now that your milk is done steaming, it's gonna have this sort of pale tan color to it because of that cinnamon. It's a very full. So good. This is one of the best drinks. And of course, you can always use agave instead of honey if you're vegan. Um, it gives a very similar taste. Uh, I was vegan for a while when I was living in Oregon, and yeah, agave is also perfect in this drink. I just only have honey right now, so. And as you can see in the latte itself, if I can come closer, 
there's all that cinnamon in the foam, but it's incorporated. So when you're drinking it, you're not gonna get that super grainy texture that you will sometimes get if you put the cinnamon on top of the espresso. There's nothing wrong with doing that. It still tastes good, but this is just kind of a little hack, if you will, to incorporate everything better. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye.